Hello! Today I am going to show you three different ways of splitting the tail of your French plaits so that you start with one French plait and end up with two plaits for your tails. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so style number one is side by side split braid tails. So I'm starting off with a normal French plait. Okay, I've done one turn past the end of adding hair. So I have my three strands. What I'm going to do is separate the middle strand out, put one half to the left, one half to the right, and then that's going to form, that half is going to form one strand of the left braid and one strand of the right braid. And then my left strand will split in two and form two of the strands of the left braid. The right braid will be split in two and form the other two strands of the right braid. So I will show you how I do that. This involves keeping half my hair in my mouth so I won't be able to talk to you. And it doesn't really matter which braid you start first. I like to bring them over my shoulder so that they are more on each side. So now we're going to do this one. So we're using the other half of the middle strand and then my right hand strand is going to split into two. Alright then, the key to this is you really want to keep your braids tight at the top and when you're using, so for me it's the right strand because the last strand to become the middle strand was the left strand so when I make the right hand braid I need to make sure that the left strand goes over first so what was the middle strand is the first strand to go over and then you lock it in with the other ones okay so this is what it looks like This one's also very easy to split further up the head. If you split it up here, you simply French braid both of the tails, but you split it in the same way. All right then. Okay, braid number two. I have the start of my French braid, up to the end of my adding hair and an extra turn. This time what we're going to do is to split each strand into three. And you want to split them horizontally. So. And once you've got the braid started on one half of each strand, I start with the lower one because it's easier. It will lock in the other strands so you don't need to keep holding them. So what I did was I took the bottom half of each strand and braided them together. And I made sure to keep my braid in the middle of my back for as long as I could possibly reach. Don't worry if you can't reach quite as far down your back as I can. I'm a little bit abnormal. Okay, so that's one, and actually your plait should stay if you leave it like this. You can actually keep your hair in this style. What I'm going to do is take the remaining three strands. Sometimes it's difficult to re-separate them, but it shouldn't be too bad. And then I'm going to plait these directly over the top of the other one so that you have one braid on top of the other.
Again, keeping it in the middle as long as possible, and then bringing it over the same shoulder to finish the braid that you did for the other one to make sure that they lie directly on top of each other. If you bring it over the other side, you may distort the braids to one side, but you'll distort them to opposite sides so they won't lay flat on top of each other. And when you're starting the braid, again, like the other one, what you need to do is just have a feel of which strand is on top, which one feels like it's loosest, as it were, not locked down by the other strands. That one needs to go first. Okay? So I have two braids on top of each other. Now this one braid on top of the other, I find very easy to bun and do it with the top braid, bun it first and then you can either leave the bottom one down or you can wrap it around the top of the bun until you run out of hair. So I'll show you that. This is what the bun looks like. It's very flat to your head, so good for travelling, good weight distribution, and you can put sticks in it. You can secure it with sticks if you want, but it will be less flat. And it's also very easy to decorate. It's very easy to put flowers all the way along, and because you've got a French braid start, so part of the plaits on the bun will be secured to the French braid, that makes it very, very secure. Okay? Okay, final braid split. This one is a, again, a one on top of the other, but it's slightly different because we're gonna start off by sectioning our hair. So this is not going to involve splitting the end of your braid when you're halfway through plaiting. So it's a little bit easier because everything's all secured already. So we're going to take from just behind our ears, we're gonna go up in an arch. This is more difficult with glasses on. Separate out like so. Get them as even as you can. The top one is probably going to have more in it than the bottom one. If you want to, you can use this as an accent braid, so you can have a small amount in the bottom and then just wrap that braid around your bigger one. I'm just securing the top out of the way for now. This is where hair sticks come in handy. And this is pretty much a style in and of itself when we've braided the bottom. So we're just going to French plait the bottom. You can normal English braid it if you want, but it will make the plaits slightly different lengths just because of how your hair works. Okay, so this is the intermediate stage. And this in itself is quite a nice hairstyle, very reminiscent of the Viking type hairstyles, you can put whatever kind of bun you want here, 
but we're going to French plait it over the top. So the key to this is that these side bits want to be French plaited over the top of your other braid, so you want them directly over the top. You're not finishing this up here, you're finishing it down here, same as the other one. And as a bonus, this is the hairstyle I mentioned where there are lots of splits in the braids at all different levels. Okay, bye-bye.